Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to download and install Construct2. First thing is to go into your preferred browser and go to the URL www.skyra.com you will arrive on the main page and you can then slide at the very bottom and you have this middle column stable or beta release for the download. For now I will go with the beta release which is the newest release you can see with the numbering the latest stable is R114 and the latest beta is R115. Click on the link it takes you to the changelog page where you can see a brief description of what has been added to this release the complete changelog if it is the first time you are downloading and installing Construct2 you don't really care at that moment so you will just go and download it what I like to do is to open in a new tab this it will download the exe file just save on your hard drive as you can see I've kept all the versions for quite a while I've already downloaded this version so it's asking me to replace it I'm just going to acknowledge it and so as you can see in Firefox you have a dialogue in which the download is being happening this page is just a thank you and so while it is downloading I can then just read the whole change log page and see the new features the additions the changes and the bug fixes at the very bottom you have some comments and if you are downloading and that you are login in the website you will have some advantages like badges and stuff like that it will add to your reputation it's uh, Skyra's website has been gamified and is pretty interesting there is a stable and a beta release beta release are adding new features or bug fixes or and are considered experimental versions con uh, compared to a stable release if you are into production mode and are in in need to release a game that is working go with the stable release do the whole game in the stable release and you will be fine uh, if you don't mind helping the two developers of Skyra to test the newest version then go with the beta release and uh, it offers us new features and it's interesting to to test it out but one of the issue if you want is that a capex or a project that has been saved in a newer beta release uh, actually in any newer release won't you won't be able to open it in a an older release so if you need to go back to a previous release because of bugs or whatever make sure to have saves of the project in the oldest release rather than the new one and if you have and use some of the specific features of the newest release you won't be able to open at all in the oldest release so now my download is complete and my interface is in French because I'm French what we want to do is to execute the setup.exe we've just downloaded you can open the folder which has the which contains the file in the explorer it's there here it is and you will want to execute it as administrator by default my current account on this computer is administrator so you have a security warning you just go with execute and it will launch the installer so there is another security just go for yes and here it is 
the installer itself. You go to Next, you read the license agreement. I've already read it, so it's okay. You choose where you want to install it on your computer. So as I have uh, already installed Construct2, I have already a um, path that is in memory. So I will just go and install over there. And there are uh, th 32 bits and 64 bits versions of Construct2. And by default, the installer will auto detect what kind of computer you have. But you can force either the 32 or 64 bits version. So far, I've always auto detected and it has always worked. I'm creating a desktop icon, clicking next, and just go with install. I have already a version installed, so I have this dialog that pops up and asks me if I want to remove the previously installed version. And yes, you do want for compatibility, stability reasons to do so. So, first, it will uninstall and install. Uh, you haven't se uh, seen it, but I've had another dialog which showed me it was uninstalling. Now installing it again. You can download directly Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox directly at the end of the installer. I have already the latest versions for both these browsers on my computer, so it's okay. And you can check for graphic driver up updates. And it's really important to do so. So let's keep it checked and finish. It opens a new project, a new program. You go to next. Apparently, my drivers are up to date, but in case it would uh, give you a process to update them if yours aren't. And it's very important to update your graphic card drivers. So by all means, do it at every every time you will ins install a new version of Construct. And this may happen every week because that's about the length of the release cycle. So I'm going to stop. And now if I'm just executing, so yeah, I have it here. I have a new icon on my desktop. I'm e executing it. Here it is. I have my Construct2 release 115 in 64 bits. And everything is working as intended. Now you can go on, check the other videos and start playing with Construct.